morning. Welcome to the Wex Wake Up for Monday, April 22nd. I'm Christy Matino. Senator Ted Cruz said there aren't any meaningful efforts to secure the southern border. He made that comment after the House passed a $95 billion foreign aid package on Saturday. Lawmakers voted 215 to 199 to defeat a border security bill that was separate from the foreign aid package. It would have limited the number of immigrants allowed into the country, as well as revive some Trump-era immigration policies that Biden did away with. This was an opportunity to take a serious step forward on the border, and unfortunately, the Democrat Party's position is they support open borders. They're unwilling to do anything on, on, on border security. But the bill did include an additional $26.3 billion in aid to Israel and a provision that would force Chinese-owned ByteDance to divest from its stake in the social media company TikTok. And Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene is once again threatening to ouster House Speaker Mike Johnson just one day after he oversaw the passage of a $95 billion foreign aid package. Greene said she will not give up on her plan to try and remove Johnson, but she didn't say specifically the timing or how he will be replaced. We're going to fight in Congress to do everything we can to stop this type of uniparty leadership. Mike Johnson's speakership is over. He needs to do the right thing to resign and allow us to move forward in a controlled process. Yeah. If he doesn't do so, he will be vacated. The passage of the aid bill fulfilled Johnson's promise to bring the long stalled aid to Ukraine to the House floor. And despite Green's threats, Johnson's allies said he will survive, while even potentially gaining some defense from Democrats who could try to block Green's plan. And former President Donald Trump's lawyer is predicting a hush money trial acquittal if he has an impartial jury. Attorney Will Scharf said the 34 count indictment against Trump is outrageous, which claims he falsified business records in relation to an alleged cover up of a $130,000 hush money payment to porn star Stormy Daniels. It's an outrageous abuse of the legal system. I think Alvin Bragg's prosecution in New York that we're seeing play out in court this week mm -hmm. is example A of that phenomena. And it's outrageous. It should offend all Americans of all political stripes. The final jury, which was selected last week, includes a variety of New Yorkers who said they could be impartial in the case. Opening arguments for the first ever criminal trial of a former U.S. president are set to begin today. That trial will be ongoing for weeks and is set to take place every day except for Wednesdays. Thanks for joining us this morning on The Wex Wake Up. Be sure to give us a follow on our website and social media so you stay in the know of all those headlines turning in politics.